I think so. Good. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. <sighs> hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Food. Even the gangs. Now, what do you think they're all after? Food. Nope. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I don't want to upset her. Me neither. Hmm. Who would have thought there'd be zombies here? Can't shoot them. Too much noise. But there are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get short. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. But what do I have to kill it with? Oh, a hammer. Pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <clears throat> nice work, kid. <clears throat> Ow. I really feel an achievement for walking over the bridge, which I didn't see or take any kind of part in whatsoever. Where's on this? Where do these things see come from? Figure something out. Behind you. Uh, uh. Oh shit. Uh. 
I can't do much now. Oops, I think I died. Yeah, I died. It very explicitly tells me that I died, too. So there's no uh, ambiguity. Okay, and we're back. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. I mean, you really think he chewed a little girl? <laughs> Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? <laughs> no offense or anything. But you know how it is out here. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north, like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh... Awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 no. He's, he's with us. No! Put it down! Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Thus ends a friendly Asian man. We hardly knew ye. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? Why did you shoot? He pointed a gun at me. Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Who 
the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Shut up, Nick. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. <laughs> Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Bex is dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Thanks, Clem. Oh, okay, I gotta do it. Of course I gotta do it. I gotta do everything. Kill my mom. Okay, that was random. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. <laughs> so who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. This means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. <clears throat> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. It's a knife. Feels pretty good. Hmm. 
Man, and I thought we had it bad. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. He keeps on like that, he's going to get one of us killed. I mean, you ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she shot another guy. Damn. What'd you do? We left her behind. Damn. That's funny. She looks just like you. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. I won't lie for you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put you in that position. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. Hmm, looks like zombies. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You, you feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. What am I? A monkey? Hey, you said it, not me. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Keep your voice down! But you just yelled at me! Shut up! Made it! Ah! You see anything? I can see the bridge. Mm -mm. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Oh, jeez. Well, they're taking long for him to lose it. Oh, it looks like there are other people here. Okay. Looks like Kenny and his sweet mullet. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. 
Put the gun down, Fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Oh, it is him. Holy shit. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. <laughs> well, it was Kenny and his sweet mullet. Now he's got a sweet beard to boot. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And, uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Tree. Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he helped me do the right thing, I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. 
<laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. <laughs> Sometimes. Smart girl. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. <laughs> anyway, I'll take it from here. Look around the lodge. Okay. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Okay, I couldn't tell if it was playing or not. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. So, how'd you meet Kenny? 